Nestled on the Pacific coast of the Guanacaste province, Samara is a quaint coastal town renowned for its natural beauty and laid-back atmosphere. In this episode, we'll explore the town and visit one of the most sought-out beaches in Costa Rica. We'll also hop over to one of Costa Rica's hidden gems, Playa Carrillo, a breathtaking stretch of coastline with powdery white sands and crystal clear waters. To top it all off, we'll seek out a couple of different options for local eats. Good morning, everybody. We are here in a new town in Guanacaste. It is bright and early. It is like 7.15 in the morning. We just drove here from Capos. And we're here in Samara. Um, it's part of like the blue zone in Nicoya. And we're gonna be exploring a little bit of the town. But first things first, I need to get a coffee into my system. I feel like I could go to sleep right now. So we're gonna get a coffee. We're gonna go to the Roots Cafe. And after that, we're gonna do a little walk around, check out the beach. And we're also gonna go and check out Playa Carrillo as well, just so we get a different taste of both. And then a little later on, we'll be getting some lunch at a popular restaurant. So uh, yeah, coffee time. ordered our breakfast. Now we're just waiting. And this is actually one of the more popular places that I saw. I mean, I, I researched a lot online of uh, different places to go get coffee and best places to eat and stuff like that. And this is one of the top ones. And I'm very happy to see that it was open at, it might be open before seven, I'm not sure. But a lot of the other places were not open except like a Sunday morning. <laughs> so we're already going in for good things. So this Costa Rican breakfast, obviously it's got the pinto, sour cream, a tortilla, which looks handmade. It's not from a package, so that's a good sign. And then we've got the plantain, the ripe plantain, and our fried eggs. And this cost us, what, like... 4,800 colonas with the coffee. Without the coffee, I think it's like 4,300 or something like that. Not too bad. All right, we finished our breakfast. Pretty full, <laughs> fulfilling breakfast. Uh, and now we're gonna just do like a little walk around the town. Um, from what I know, like the little downtown area is pretty small. We're gonna check it out and see what there is. And then later on we will hop over to the beaches and see what those are like. So you can really feel the like beach town vibe. Yeah, and we're looking at the ocean right now. And I don't know, I guess it's very obvious that it's Sunday morning on a holiday weekend because there is little to no people around. It's pretty quiet, which is nice because we get to experiment or experience the place not as crowded as we would have had we come like yesterday on a Saturday. But yeah, very touristic here. Very, very, very touristic. Um, there's signs for tours and blazing, blazing buggies everywhere. At the heart of Samara lies its bustling town center where visitors can explore a variety of local shops, restaurants, and cafes. Over the years, Samara has become well populated with foreigners from all parts of the world. So here you'll find a variety of offerings from quaint artisanal boutiques to all natural markets. There's no shortage of treasures to discover while strolling through the town's vibrant streets that seem to be a fair combination of residents and local business. But the true allure of Samara lies along its pristine coastline, where sun seekers can bask in the warm tropical sun on the shores of Playa Samara. With its gentle waves and expansive sandy beach, Playa Samara is perfect for swimming or simply unwinding with a book under the shade of a palm tree. So this is nice. There's actually like a little kind of pier walkout. It doesn't go out too far, obviously. We're at the end right now and the beach is literally right in front of us. This is a nice beach. 
They've got like a little lifeguard station. Lots of chairs everywhere. It's nice and breezy too. So you can really tell like even just from coming down the pier, like there's, the beach is lined with like restaurants. Everything's closed today because uh, otherwise we would end up be doing a lot more shopping. But uh, well, yeah, it's still early, so maybe this stuff will be open in a little bit. We just passed the natural center. It's like a shopping center where they do like the feria and other markets. I guess I, there's like a, lot, a bunch of little shops and stores where you can buy food and like eat and all that stuff. Uh, and that's just back there. It's really weird. The street seems very residential, but it has um, like shops and stuff on it at the same time. It's kind of cute. I like it. <laughs> oh, <you win. laughs> so it turns out getting a mango down from a tree is a lot harder than it would seem. <laughs> No big mango for us. We've kind of made the whole turnabout. We kind of just, we went up the street for a second to see what it's like, but it just goes back to like the main road and there's really not too much there and not much space to walk. And cars going really fast at this time of day. So we are, oh my God, there's a horse. It's like an abandoned house with a horse in it. It's pretty random. <laughs> so yeah, now we're just going back around to kind of where we came from. And I guess, Probably about time to head on to the beach. So we're coming up to like another pier that comes out onto the beach. And this is the side of the beach called Cangrejal. And this is a little more relaxed, a little more quiet. They are, there is a watchy man who's like, wants to like make us pay for parking. So we're not even gonna stay here for enough time to like make it worth it. So Chompy's just staying in the car while I'm checking this out. And this is cute, I like it. This is a lot more quiet end of the beach. As you can see, this beach is actually quite big. If I read correctly online, it's like four miles, which I think is about I don't remember how much that was in kilometers. It didn't say the exact amount, but it goes all the way around. Carrillo. It was like literally, I don't know, five, ten minutes driving from the downtown of Samara. And this is nice. It's a lot quieter. Um, lots of space for parking. Nobody really, there's really nobody around. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of tents. I imagine that's still set up. I don't know if those are here all the time or if that's just because of the holiday weekend. By the way, the holiday weekend is Semana Santa, which is Easter. And uh, today is Santo Domingo, Easter Sunday. So, so far it's pretty quiet. Maybe later it'll get a little more <laughs> crazy. But this beach is pretty gorgeous. Like literally lined with palm trees. And there's a nice view of like the cliffs and the hillsides. It's almost like farms or something over there. 
and there's like a cliff on the other side. So let's, uh, let's walk around and check it out. This hidden gem located just south of the bustling town of Samara offers a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. With its crescent-shaped bay and powdery white sand stretching for nearly two kilometers, Playa Carrillo is a haven for beach enthusiasts seeking relaxation. The gentle waves of the Pacific Ocean are so nice and they're so inviting to just go and take a dip into the water. Despite its undeniable charm, Playa Carrillo remains relatively undeveloped, preserving its unspoiled allure and laid-back atmosphere. Visitors can immerse themselves in the authentic Costa Rican lifestyle, mingling with the friendly locals and the people who come to visit there. One thing I am noticing is that the sand is significantly nicer here from what we saw at Playa Samara. It's like a lot more white and soft. I found closer up to the piers, at least, in Samara, the sand is really rocky, like almost like fake, kind of broken up little rocks kind of thing. Really weird, but this is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So this beach is actually considered one of the nicest beaches in Costa Rica with the fairly white sand, the water is so calm. Like in comparison to Manuel Antonio, this is like gorgeous. I would love to go swimming right now, but I didn't bring a swimsuit today. <laughs> the people in the water look so relaxed, like they're just floating around. There's no waves, there's no waves at all. It's. I would highly recommend coming to this beach if you guys ever have a chance. I believe from like San Jose, it's about four, four and a half hours. From Capos, it took us about, yeah, four and a half. And we didn't see any traffic because of the time that we went. And then uh, if you're coming from Liberia, it's about two and a half hours, I believe. So not so bad. I think it's definitely worth it, especially if you're looking for a place that's not quite as touristic. Um, so I know like a lot of places in Guanacaste are pretty Americanized at this point, And Samara is, it's getting there, but it's not quite so bad. But if you can come to this beach, you're even better and I believe like further down this way there's a bunch of hotels and everything like that so you can be in a bit more of like a secluded area and yeah enjoy things that way so I find that's kind of the better way to enjoy Costa Rica sometimes <laughs> Just won't quit. We're here right now at the Playa Carrillo sign and we are gonna go and look for some lunch now because it is just way too hot out here. Uh, we're gonna go to a beachside restaurant to go and get some delicious food. It's one of the most popular restaurants that I could find online so let's give it a try. Okay we are back in Samara now. The natural center is open now and we're just looking around it's pretty cool it's got like a lot of different little restaurants and shops um, a lot of them look like they're still kind of just opening there's even a hairdresser we've got like mr. pelicano which I've heard is really good food uh, like seafood we've got a little souvenir shop with clothing and everything um, yeah, it's cute I like this here at Gusto Beach. I've heard, I've read a lot of good reviews about this place. Uh, so we're here to try it. It's one of the, well, I guess, I, I think a lot of places are open today, but I just, a lot that I looked at, it was very mixed. But this was the one that really called to me. And apparently the owners are from Italy and we're gonna get some pizza today. I know, it seems kind of crazy. Like we're literally in the blue zone of Costa Rica. We're getting pizza of all things. But here we are, we're literally on the beach palm trees everywhere and 
fun music. This is a nice vibe. I think this would be really great to come to, especially for dinner, or if you could do like a sunset thing, that would be great. Anyways, we're gonna look at the menu and see what kind of pizza we're gonna get. For the start, we got mint lemonade and chips with guacamole. I mostly just ordered it to try it. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Looks pretty good. Looks like it's fresh made. Mmm. It's actually really good. And the chips are fresh made too. Very good. Pizza has arrived. Looks pretty amazing. It's got the burrata cheese. Lots of tomato sauce, fresh tomatoes, pesto, basil. I think we should give it a try. Let's go. <laughs> Fancy. It's super thin crust. Mmm. <laughs> Right, guys we are finished here in Samara Playa Carrillo this area of Costa Rica for today it has been nice it's been a long morning I'm incredibly burnt from walking around on the beaches we checked out Playa Samara 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 <laughs> um, we ate some really good food that pizza was really good it was, it's not a cheap place that's for sure um, and I think I probably would have preferred a pizza that was a little bit hotter, but the flavor of what it was was really yummy. And really thin crust is like perfect for a hot day like this. Really light and easy going. And then our little a bit of time, Playa Carrillo. That's really pretty. I'm really happy that we got to see that beach because it was much nicer than the beach in Samara, in my opinion. So if you guys get the chance, go to that one. Or go to both and see how you feel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this morning slash half day here in Playa Samara and Playa Carrillo. It's time to go home and get some shade and get some sleep. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys real soon. Ciao!